Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how a Hall effect switch works. That's this component you're looking at right here. Resembles a TO92 transistor, but only thinner. There's a voltage in, a ground, and an output uh, leg. What makes this circuit unique is you could use a magnet, depending on which pole you're using, the north or the south, to turn on or off this relay and latch it in the on or off position. How this works this is the relay coil side. Nine volts going in. And I just have this hooked up to for continuity alarm to let you know when the relay closes. Now all you have to do is bring a magnet. In this case it's a neodymium. You bring one side near it. That's the wrong side because it's not clicking it. So you turn it around and you go near it now. All right, the relay just closed. Now, if you want, now this is a latching type, so it's going to stay on until current is removed from the battery. If you don't disconnect the battery, it will never turn off unless you turn the magnet around to the opposite pole and bring it near it. Now it goes off. Now, if you do the same side, nothing. Now, if I turn it around, back on again. Flip it back, off. Now this is a really handy circuit because you could actually take off this Hall effect switch, run a very thin three wire cable from the circuit board, and you can conceal this little Hall effect switch under a desk or inside of a wall behind sheetrock, and then only you know where to turn on whatever you want to turn on. So if this is behind the sheetrock, and if you're wearing a, like a neodymium ring, because they make rings out of neodymium, you can just put your hand in the location of the wall where you know this, the Hall effect switch is at, and then you can turn it on like that or off. So it's a pretty handy circuit, and there's several different. There's a few different types. This one is a latching type. Some of them, when you put this next to it, wrong side. All right. You, when you hold the magnet, it stays on. When you pull the magnet away, it goes off. That's a momentary one. And then there's another type that when you bring a magnetic field near it, the voltage on the output pin will rise or fall depending on the strength of the magnetic field in the area. That inch away. But it's a neat little switch. Not very many components. And you could probably make this side run on a transformerless power supply because it doesn't draw that much. So you could make this a 120 volt unit if you had to. But if you're looking for a, a good idea for a hidden switch, this is it. Hide this in a wall or furniture. Sweep your hand in a location where you know it's at. Boom. Turn on a light, a motor, anything with it. I'll put the link in the description box.